there, Trekkers and Trekkies. Here for another book club, or what I like to call something weird to read, because that's what we've got today. So, this isn't quite a, a book per se, it's a, it's a little on the uh, thinner side of things. But, um, it's definitely different to a normal book. It's, uh, technically it's more like a comic book. But, unlike now if you go up to, to the store and buy a comic book, your comic book isn't going to come with a record. Yeah, that's right. Flip to the back here. Slide this out. We can pop this, and I, I've got a record player in the in the living room. I could always put this on and uh, check it out. Although I think it's damaged on the back. It's got some marks. I'm a little worried about. I haven't checked it out yet. But there are uh, YouTube channels that have the audio recording of this book available. I'll post a link for one in the in the doodly do down below. Um, and we're not going to read through this whole thing because it's definitely something to be experienced with the audio. So I encourage you to check that out, but it's quite amusing. So the cover looks fairly typical. We've got Captain Kirk, got Lieutenant Uhura, got Mr. Spock. They all look pretty much normal. Although their positioning towards each other is very awkward. Um, but, and we've got these music notes all over the place. Well, that's because this is a story about how music is a way that we can communicate. It starts off pretty normal. Starts off, we've got the ship doing the flyby, Captain Kirk doing a captain's log but we get to the first page first thing we meet a brand new character this blonde haired dude in a blue shirt who as we see over here is going to end up being the navigator and his name is Mr. Connors but if you listen to the audio he has a very We'll call it Eurasian-y accent. I think they were trying to do Russian, but it's it's kind of like maybe a little a little Polish, German, Russian kind of indistinctly somewhere over there sound. All systems neutral, Captain. It's not any of our instrumentation. To it, but you might have noticed. Something next to my hand, if you're paying attention, which is Captain Kirk here addresses Lieutenant Uhura and this woman with blonde hair responds. Oh, and she's really white, like not just white, but like so white you can't see her nose white. But then you have to look at the very next panel and realize Captain Kirk is addressing this African-American gentleman wearing a science blue shirt and calling him Mr. Sulu. This book is all over the place in how strange things are. So Ahura is now a blonde-haired white woman. Sulu is now an African-American science officer. He went, he went, apparently he changed races and went back to his original department. But then another funny thing to pay attention to, apparently Captain Kirk was getting the back of his chair recushioned because the back, the chair part that sticks up in the back is in none of these scenes. Ever. Now the story is actually pretty basic. the The Enterprise has it keeps getting 
these musical tones hitting the ship, and on the record, it's kind of cool. You have the dun 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 thing kind of thing. It's very reminiscent of uh, uh, Close Encounters of a Third Kind sort of idea that they're going. Now, what's funny is in this panel, Ahura almost looks like herself, but blue. Um, and, and Dr. McCoy is just losing his mind because of the music. So, but here's where it gets to, I guess, why they decided to introduce this Mr. Connors here, which real quick, got to point out what's odd about this particular frame is that the face almost looks like George Takai in blackface, which just, that's even worse. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I can speak for George Takai and say he would never do blackface. But we would kind of know what he might look like if he did. It's, yeah. And still, no back on the chair. Um, so anyways, this Mr. Connors, who is the, the navigator, he plays this weird alien organ, which he brings to the bridge. Like that's what's happening here. He he come he he, le he left his duty station. He's just like, hold on, got an idea, and he left. Comes back with this massive organ, because you know apparently in the future, portable instruments don't exist, and drags it out onto the bridge, and begins playing it, in order to communicate with this alien species. Would have been great if that Strange New Worlds episode had done something like this. Would have been hilarious. Have some have somebody playing this organ, this alien organ. Dun 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 dun. Um, I do love some of the panels though. The colors are they're just so fun. And and here he is just really getting into it. Just, I like the I didn't think about the fact that I'm wearing a blue shirt. I should if I'd bleached my hair I could have totally been Mr. Connors for this episode um so yeah it, it's that's the story he uses music to communicate he almost passes out but everything's fine and and for some reason blonde Ahura quotes biblical scripture for absolutely no reason and that's it. This is the, the, we saved the day. The music made them the aliens stop attacking the ship, and everyone's safe. And that's the story. Um, and if you don't believe me, go check out the link. And I promise you, um, it's and it doesn't take but like ten minutes for it to go because it's it's. A pretty short story. How many pages does this have? No, so 20, 20 pages? Because this is not... It, they only labeled the right-hand page. See, the node page number here, and then the page number over here is 19, then that'd be page 20. So, yeah, that was... That's, that's, that's... That's the book for this week. You should go out, check it out. Um, I got this as part of a big box of books that I got a couple of years ago. Um, as you can see, the original price was $1.49. Apparently, at some point, you can't hardly see that little sticker. Somebody paid $5 for it. Um, but like I said, I got it as part of a, bo a big box. Uh, I think I paid 20 or 25 bucks for the whole box. So, yeah. Well, this is this is a fun book. Check it out. I'll see you next time and until then, go make something. If you enjoy my videos and want to see more, please like, share, subscribe and ring the bell icon. If you want to support me, you can find me on Patreon or go over to Zazzle for prints of my artwork, t-shirts and other cool stuff. If you're still here, why do you want to jam out? Thank you.